What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in to KM Marty Radio Stuff. Today I'm gonna throw yet another antenna above my roof. Gonna put an oldie but a goodie up. We're gonna do the K8 MRD mod on the 10 Tenas 49 to 1 NFED. This is actually uh, the second one of these I bought because the first one I bought I made and made a video and I never published it because I gave the antenna to my dad. But I want to try and make an 80 meter NFED half wave out of this. So uh, I'm gonna put one little mod on here. I want to put a bit of strain relief and uh, then we'll throw some wire out and see if we can get it tuned. So I don't know, let's make an antenna. All right, so just a little surgery on the 10 tennas, 49 to one. Search eBay for 10 tennas. I can't put a link in the description because if these are available, you'll see a link on eBay. If they're not available, you won't. Search eBay for 10 tennas. That's all I can tell you. Maybe you will luck out and have them. So anyway, I want to use this little guy for a strain relief, but this doesn't have an eyelet. So I went to the Home Depot and I bought that, but that was too long. It actually looked like that. So I just took my angle grinder and cut it. I can't remember what these are called, but uh, I'll leave a link in the description. I bought a pack of 10 for like $9. So the idea is this is going to be a strain relief. And I'm gonna drill that right there. And then we're gonna use some DX10 from our DX Commander, because this is some of the best wire in the world for making antennas. So, let's figure out, that'll work. Just make a little X marks the spot there. And I'm just gonna do a, a pilot hole first. It's good that that was off camera. I've not drilled through 3D printed stuff, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't break it. That ended up being 11 64ths, and that fits, okay. Fondful. So then, if you're going to put the eyelet in like such, you see, and then this is gonna be the part that sucks work. Oh, 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 it's working. It's working. It's working. Just tighten this baby down. Okay. So here's how this works. We got this little doohickey here and I've just got the end of the wire here. And this just kind of fishes inside. Okay, actually I'm gonna get a little more. Cause you know, you're gonna make a loop with this, except you need to put it through the eyelet. Ha ha. Push tight like tiger. And then this little thing, maybe that goes over and this just clamps down with these Nuts. Now well, let's see, I think a seven millimeter socket. I'll tighten those down, yeah. Okay. So that ain't going anywhere now, you see? And then this can attach here safely without putting strain on the antenna or on that part. Because it's gonna hang, it's gonna hang from this. And if we didn't put this strain relief, the wire is just gonna pull that. So let's, uh, let's crimp and solder our ring terminal on here. And all that so we could do this. Ta-da! Brilliant, see? I just measured out 168 feet of wire. Just ran back and fourth here and I'm gonna put another one of those little metal clippy things on this side and make a loop then we'll hop on the roof and tie it up and see where it is on the analyzer and trim it till we get it resonant see so now I've got my insulator and the end of the wire here which I suspect we're gonna have to cut at least four feet off of this but 
I'd rather it too big than too small. No. You know, every now and then in my life, not very often, some things just end up working out. And this is one of those times. So we can see the transformer right there behind the clouds. Thank you for the backdrop. And the wire is going all the way across. It's that top wire there in that tree. And it didn't even have to come down. It's literally just the perfect amount of length between both of my neighbor's trees to get this 80 meter antenna up. I have not cut it. It's 136 feet ish. It really doesn't matter that much when it, when a wire is this long, you know, six, six inches plus or minus of that. Uh, I've already looked at it on the analyzer. This is going to sound weird for some of you guys. So you might want to sit down, but in this case, I'm not searching for the perfect resident antenna. I'm not going to chase it. I'll show you why in a minute. What we're looking for right now is good enough. And what we have right now is good enough. So let's hop over on the analyzer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then we'll uh, hop over to the radio and see what tunes and what doesn't. I think you're in for a treat. <laughs> okay, welcome to my lair. So got some Messi and Poloni Hyperflex 7 Sahara. Beautiful stuff. I am using an inline choke, but to show you the results, we're just gonna go, we're gonna raw dog it here. No cutting, no trimming of the wire. Something just worked. So we're just gonna go to these ham bands and that's just gonna show a graph. So here is the SWRN80. And at 3.822 megahertz, I'm 1.37. I'm about 1.5 to one across or less across the entire band except for when it goes right up to the top. But very, very acceptable. Let's take a look at 40. So 40 is under three to one across the entire band. 30 meters looks uh, pretty good. Under 1.5 or 1.17 at 10, two, three, so out of band. So, but we're probably 1.4-ish, 1.3 in the middle of the band. Here's 20, not so hot, starts pretty low. 1.28 at 13, so we're under 3.1 to one across the entire band there. 17 is a little high. We're like three and a half to one there. There's 15, a little high. Again, not going for perfection here and you'll understand why in a minute. This is just, I wanna get an antenna up in the air that I can use on all bands. I don't really care about losses and stuff. I know it's uh, not totally resonant as much as it could be. 10 meters, a little over three to one across the whole band except for the bottom there. And let's take a look at six. Not happy on six, 4.9 to one at 52. But let's see what the radio thinks of it. Okay, so keep in mind the goal of this is just to have an antenna that I can tune. I'm not chasing the perfect SWR, okay? And for those of you that might also question, does the inline choke affect resonance at all? I checked it with and without, it doesn't make a lick of difference. The only reason I have the choke on there is because I have the choke. Now let me show you why I don't care about resonance. That's why, that's my noise floor. Let's zoom in a bit here on 80 meters. That is an S we're 20 over. That's what I get to live with. Sometimes though, the noise goes away and I get to play radio. Sometimes this is the norm. And that's why I'm not chasing the perfect SWR. But since we're here, uh, it doesn't work on 160, but Notice this tuner is off. These lights would be on, okay? That's, this is not on. So let's take a look at this. We'll go all the way down to the bottom of 80. And we're just gonna use the internal tuner. Just barely clicked and it's tuned. So we'll go up to 3.6-ish, tuned. 3.7-ish. Let's get it out of tune. I did this before. 3.7, tuned. 3.8, tuned. 3.9, tuned. Close enough to the edge of the band, 
tuned. All of 80, done. Let's go to 40 meters. Let's go to the bottom-ish. Good, let's go to the middle. And the top. Wonderful. Now we're under an S9 noise level on 40. That's rare, let's go to 10. Or 30 rather, excuse me. There we are, it seems up just fine on 30. 20, no problem there. Whole stinking band. Gotta love that S9 plus noise floor. Let's go to 17, two in there. 15, good there. Good lower, let's go to the upper part. Good there. Where were we? Let's go to 12. Yep, 12 is good. Oops. 10. Happy, happy. Go a little higher. Come on, baby. Yeah. Good. Let's go a little higher. So yeah, we're plenty good here. Doesn't like six meters though. It's the only band. We're, uh, let's see, what's our SWR here? And this is weird, because the radio only shows, I mean, it's almost 3.1 to one, but then this meter shows it's 7.41 to one, so. Either way, it's not happy, so I need to use that tuner for six meters, if and when six meters is open. I can live with that, but this is fantastic. All the bands with that one antenna, I love it. So that's pretty cool, huh? Quick little K and MRD mod on the 10 tennas. Get that strain relief. Uh, I am concerned that this is one of the older versions where uh, they weren't heat proof. The, the 3D printed plastic that he was using uh, kind of melts when it gets hot. So I suspect the little ring that uh, I tied the paracord to to actually hold it, it's probably gonna melt and fall off in the summertime, but that's okay. I've got all the guts. I can, I can put it in another case when that happens. This is more just to see if it would happen. I, I didn't know, I didn't think I would have the length for an 80 meter uh, end fed because it's 136 feet long. I was, then I was like, you know, if I go across the roof over the tree and I was thinking the, that the wire might even have to come down uh, like to the ground a little bit as an inverted L towards the end, but that didn't happen. It's totally horizontal across the entire uh, house and neighbor's property. <laughs> so anyway, search eBay, 10 tennas, 10 tennas. And uh, go give Walt all your money because he's a great guy. He's a big POTA hunter uh, and uh, his antennas are fantastic. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. We'll see you later.